Welcome to your energy update with the angels. I'm Devin Dewar, angel intuitive and spiritual teacher. The overall energy right now is requiring so much structure and discipline. We are being asked to step into leadership roles and check to see where I's need to be dotted, T's need to be crossed and loose ends need to be wrapped up. If you'll stay tuned to the end of this video, I have three actions for you to activate the guidance you are about to receive, something to do right now, something to do soon, and something to make long-term plans to do. Before we dive in more, I want you to know that these messages are meant for you anytime you come across them. The angels are highly efficient and know when you will hear them. I always say a prayer of protection, asking that I only connect with God's highest vibrational beings and the messages be for the highest good of those who come across them. So so let's get started. Now remember, this is a group message. So if something doesn't resonate with you, simply leave it behind. It may be for someone else. The angels will never tell you what to do. They never want you to give your power away. If these messages do resonate with you, I would really appreciate it if you would hit the subscribe button, the like button, and share it with your friends that you think would enjoy that. And thank you so much to my subscribers who are always here. I love you so much and I love connecting you with this way. Now to in this way. Now to activate this guidance, I'd like to ask you to go ahead and put the following pocket affirmation in the comments below. I am highly focused on my heart's wishes. If you would go ahead and put that in the comments below, I'd really appreciate it. I am highly focused on my heart's wishes. That will help you with activating this guidance and opening up and receiving the guidance that is in your highest, highest interest to hear right now. And feel free to come back as many times as you need to listen to these again, because I find hindsight is a very powerful tool for deepening your connection with the angels. All right, getting back into this energy where they were talking about how overall we are being asked to really get organized and really be disciplined about using logic and structure and being a leader within our own lives, our projects and setting a good example for others. They do want you to know that they see the way you felt challenged to be motivated to do this. You've maybe been waiting for things to be just right before you take action. And you've just felt like every time you were ready to get started, you lacked motivation or those around you lacked motivation. And they're saying this is because you are going to need to really focus on that structure and discipline in order to open up these new opportunities. And one of the things that's going to really help you face this is by communicating your vision and communicate with vision, give details, give scenery. You know, they say a picture paints, a, uh, what is it? No, a picture is worth a thousand words. I'm sure I'm misquoting that. But when you can communicate what your vision is, that's going to help you overcome these challenges you might be facing with motivating others or even getting motivated yourself. So focus on it from that standpoint. Now, one of the things that's going on behind the scenes that you may not be aware of is your intuition is trying to show you new creative solutions and new ways to do things. But they also, the angels are also asking you to have a lot of patience. We are being asked to implement this structure and discipline, but be patient with seeing the fruits of our labor and really checking in with our intuition to see if it's the right time to act on something. So if you are getting that gut feeling like this is not the right time to act, then they want you to trust that that may be because it's just not the right time. It's not that it's the wrong project. It's not that it's the, with the wrong people or the wrong person. If you're looking to act on a relationship, it could just be that you need to really get quiet and listen to your intuition to see if it's the right time to act. Now, one of the th things that they want to address that's recently happened for you, if you have, you have been recently asked to wake up and look at something different, maybe new information came in about a person, about a project, about a job or location that made you go, whoa, you know what? We need a pause. We need to look at this differently. And they want to commend you for being willing to do that. That is part of that thing that's going on behind the scenes with your intuition, when your intuition is trying to get your attention and tell you to have 
patience because there is a better way to approach this. We just need to put that structure and discipline in place and really focus on communicating our vision. Right now, at the time you're hearing these messages, they want you to take time to celebrate your successes. You are being asked to get out and have some more fun. So what has been going on for you recently that has been preventing you from doing something that brings you joy? They're asking you to do that right now and they will have more guidance for you when we get to the end of this video with those three actions. Another thing that you're going to need to plan to do very soon is to look to see where you need to add more forgiveness. Now it could be forgiveness to yourself for not taking action, for not feeling motivated. Maybe you need to add forgiveness to uh, your commitment to a relationship, or maybe there is someone else that you need to take time to heal a relationship with them, or you need to go ahead and forgive them even if these, this person is not in your life anymore because that potentially could block you from tapping into your personal power. And one of the things that's going to really help you empower yourself is to trust that anywhere you are feeling trapped right now is merely an illusion. And the it is the illusion of being trapped because you are not focusing on where you can add structure and discipline. So that's where you can really tap into your personal power be disciplined about trusting that you are never trapped. You are not alone. The angels are always here to help you and support you. And that's really going to help you with moving forward. Now, take a look at those around you who are going through significant change. Are there people in your life that are having their own wake up calls or powerful re revelations? Look to see who is following their passions and then make sure you are doing the same. It's time for you to spread your wings. And when you see people around you, spreading your wings, you know you're on the right path and you're around the right people. Because it is important to take a look and see who you are surrounding yourself with. And if there are people around you that are just absolutely refusing to go with the flow, then that is a sign right there. If you haven't checked out my 2024 angel messages, I'll leave the link below. One of the three main themes for 2024 is to look to see who's following their passions and do the same. So that's why they're asking right now, who do you surround yourself with at work, with your friends, with your relationships, and are they following their passions? Now they do see that you're hoping to find a more contented life, more peace and more abundance in your life. And that is available to you when you focus on adding structure and discipline. So I know that sounds like, well, hold on. I have to really focus and buckle down and work hard in order to have peace of mind. Actually, yes, you do, because that's imp that's implementing boundaries. They're going to help protect your peace and protect what your heart really wants. But ultimately, there is so much loving, empathetic, and tender energy waiting for you when you focus on the relationships that have things in common with your goals, your passions, your projects. This could be any relationships. This could be a romantic relationship. It could also be a relationship with a boss, a friend, a child, or a parent. But look around you to see who else is really ready to get out there and focus on making their dreams come true and adding that structure and really logic to your plans, not just dreaming and getting caught in a fantasy, but actually applying self-discipline and logic and you know, that structure that is needed to protect what your heart wants. All right, so that's the overall messages. We're gonna get into these three actions first. Um, next, but I wanted to offer another pocket affirmation for you to activate these this guidance that's coming up to see where it might apply to you. So the second pocket affirmation I would ask you to put in the comments below if you feel called to is, I easily release what no longer serves me. And you'll see why I chose that affirmation when we get to the actions they want you to take. But go ahead and write that in the comments if you'd like to. I easily release what no longer serves me. And of course, if you don't want to, that's totally okay. Um, but if you, I, it does help activate and open up to that energy. Now, the next thing we're going to do, which is a new thing I just started doing in my videos, is I want to give you a journaling prompt. I know a lot of you out there like to journal with your angels and me, and I do have my custom journal available on Amazon, Book of Evidence, Proof Your Angels Are With You, that comes with a four-part webinar to teach you how to deepen your connection with the angels, and it has an intuition tracker in there um, that's custom, but you can also get a digital intuition tracker from me that is just the intuition tracker. This one's 
completely customized with templates and it gives you uh, step-by-step instructions and comes with the webinar, but you can get the digital download if you wanna start with that um, on my website, devendoershop.com. That's uh, the link is below. It's actually my Shopify account, devendoershop.com. Okay, thank you for your patience with that because I wanted to let you know this journaling prop can really help you with hindsight. If you have your own journal, that's great. If you wanna use a spiral notebook, that's great. If you wanna use a digital journal, that's great. But I encourage you to write down this journaling prompt now. What is in my highest interest to know right now. Now this is going to be my journaling prompt going forward because I want to teach you to get in the habit of saying that before you are asking for actions to take from the angels. What is in my highest interest to know right now? That will be the prompt going forward and I will remind you that in future videos. All right. Thank you again for your patience. Thank you for staying this long to the end of this video where we have three actions that you can take. We're going to go over actions to take right now. We're going to take go over an action to take soon, and something to make long-term plans to do in the future. The very first action they want you to do at the time you're hearing this video is to look around to see where you are caught in wishful thinking. Do you remember what they said earlier about tapping into your personal power and not allowing yourself to be stuck in the illusion of being trapped? And this is what they're talking about right now. You may be looking around and going, there's not enough options. I don't know what to do. And that's why they want you to focus. They want you to get out of fantasy mindsets and do something to clear the fog. This may mean when you're stuck trying to make what decision, what trying to decide what decision to make that you need to change your environment. Go outside and go for a walk to think about it or just take a break altogether and go play or go do something creative. So if you are stuck in wishful thinking right now, they want want you to activate that structure and discipline and focus to move out of that. Now, very soon, what they're asking you to do is to focus on teamwork and collaborations. They want you to get organized. They want you to implement a schedule that supports your visions. Do you remember earlier they were talking about communicating with vision? How can you a rearrange your schedule or implement a schedule right now that's going to allow you to communicate your vision. And if you are planning to do something with a team or some kind of collaboration, really getting organized with that and really making time in your schedule to communicate, you want to prove to yourself and to others you are capable of doing what your heart wants. All right. And right before we get to this final action, I would like to ask you one more time, if you haven't already, to please subscribe to this channel. Thank you to my subscribers who already are. And please like and share this video. It really helps my channel to grow. And I really appreciate it. The final action the angels are asking you to make plans to do in the long term is to end what no longer serves you. So that pocket affirmation I asked you to say just recently, I easily release what no longer serves me. The angels are asking you to go ahead and plan for the long term. Look around to see what's not serving you and plan to release that. Wrap up unfinished business, plan for major transformation and let go of that old baggage. That's why they were encouraging us to very soon focus on forgiveness for yourself and for others. Thank you so much for being here. And remember, take time every day to connect with the angels.